Push. Come on, Bab. Come on. Keep them foot plodding. I'm trying to train him. And as you can see, it's not going very well. Rio, come here. Yes, my people. What's up, Luke, man? It's Luke. This is LG Fitness. And right now, I'm chilling. Sunday morning, about to go and walk Rio. I'm gonna take you though with me. Let's get it, man. Let's see the big boy. Yes, big boy. You ready to go for a walk? Come on. <laughs> Hey boy. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. Rio, come. Let's go. Come here. I'm trying to train him. And as you can see, it's not going very well. Rio, come here. Oh, he's looking there. Because he thinks I'm going to throw him in there. But I'm not going to throw you in there, big boy. That was a very long time ago. I tried to make him swim. So I threw him in there. And he's hated me ever since. It's all right. Let's move out of this section. Let's see if it happens. Huh? All right, cool. Let's get away from the river. Let's try this again. Real. Come. Come here. Come. I shouldn't have to say it that many times. Oi, big boy. Good boy, go on. <laughs> you fucking little shit. <laughs> I swear to you. It's important, man. When you have a big dog or a rotty, it's important that they're obedient. And I haven't been working on it, if I'm honest with you. My brother, Mason, S6 French Bulls on Instagram, he's been patterning, like, he's been sorting out his rotties. They're, they're on point, they're obedient. Not their rotties, Frenchies. So I'm looking at my big rock where I'm thinking, I ain't done this with you in ages. And look, this is the result. You ain't listening. All right, let's try this again. Real, come. Good boy, good boy. Go on, free. There you go. Progress. In one walk, there's progress. There you go. So the thing is, right, the reason why when I call him, I want him to come is because... A lot of the time, there'll be a dog or something going on and I'm calling him, calling him, he's not listening. And it's just, you could just get peak. You don't want that, you know what I mean? You don't want him jumping all over these little dogs, breaking their backs, breaking their spines and that. Because he's a big block of wood, big brick piece of concrete. And everyone around here, they all got them little fluffy poodle type dogs. Them little shit zoo type dogs, you know what I mean? So when they see a Rottweiler, it's like, whoa. Anyway, people got a long day today man i'm sorting out the missus flat you know what i'm saying i've got to do some painting and stuff like that that's starting today so i've had a long weekend already you know daddy day with chance on friday yesterday was saturday i was working all day wake up early working in the morning you know what i'm trying to say this morning it's just sunday and then now i'm walking real and then straight painting oh there's more dogs real hold on <laughs> hold on a sec anyway as I was saying, so I've got to go and do loads of painting today, man. So today's number, day number one. I've got to go and paint the whole, the whole flat. Wall, ceilings, everything. gym man look at the skies jesus what a sad ass day man <laughs> anyway head into the gym got a client right now then after i'm hitting chest i don't want to try and vlog some of it for you guys you know what i'm saying i want to try out this vlogging thing see how we see how it's looking you know what i mean Seven, good, eight. So we had it on 20, nine, we did 10 reps, and we dropped it down to 10 kg, 10, and then we did another 10 reps, so we did a drop set on there. Now we're moving over, everyone, this is Mrs. Ward. She is an absolute machine. You guys have seen her in the last Terminator film. 
This is her. This is this. <laughs> this is Sarah Connor, everybody. There we go. So now we got 10 reps. And then we're gonna drop it down again for another 10. Look at the focus, look at the control though. There's no jerking, there's no thrusting. She's just controlling and she's working in that hip, right in that corner in there. And it goes all the way down her leg in there. See that, look at the control. That's it, put it to 25. There you go, give me another 10. So 35 kg, 25 kg, another 10 reps. Good, just getting the reps in the All right, cool. It's my turn now. Bench. First stop. See what happens. Now, usually for me, yeah, I start struggling around about 80 kg. Like, meaning like, I might get about six reps on 80, get up to 90, might get about three to four reps and then 100. On a good day, I might get a couple or a one in, you know what I'm trying to say? On a good, good day. So, what I've done is I've jumped straight to 80. I don't really want to go to 70 kilos because it's just wasted energy. I'm trying to get to the weights that I need to work at, stay there for as long as possible. And then if I need to, I'll peel it back and then keep repping it out again, you get me? But anyway, next bit. Let me be real with you lot. That was hard, but I'm gonna be real. The reason why it's so hard is because I haven't really had good consistency with my training on my chest days. So I do progress physically and I do progress strength wise, but it's so slow because my fucking consistency, yeah, is not good enough, you know what I'm trying to say? And those of you that know, you get me, drop on my Instagram if you want to know a little bit more about me, but I don't want to get too much into it right now. But life has changed. You get me? So I need a discipline. Yeah, hey, if I took it to the camera. <laughs> Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm uh keep the weight the same. For one more set. So my muscle can feel the weight. And then I'm gonna drop it down to like 70 or 60, depending on how my muscles are performing. And I'm gonna try and get a couple of finisher sets in, you get me? All the, the motivation. This gym is this gym is full of motivation. Look at the man them in the background. You get me, Mr. Rippy over there. We got Mr. Muscle over there. A lot of motivation man. What a beautiful place man. That one felt heavy, but felt decent, felt decent. So I'm going to drop it down to 70, not 60. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do about six to eight reps on 70. And I'm going to drop it down to 60. I'm going to keep repping it. I know it sounds like a madness, but it is a madness. So let's see what happens. Last one. Last one. Take those five 
Madness. Fuck. Sorry, man. I'm, not, I'm swearing all that. I know it's going to mess up the algorithm. All this swearing. But this is gym. This is real life. Hey, I'm dead, man. Listen. That's the finisher. I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to go 70. Then I'm going to drop it down to 50. I think that's going to be a better drop set for me to handle, I ain't going to lie. That last one was a bit, that drop, it didn't feel like nothing came off the bar. But I still got it done though, man. Anyway, let's try out the second finisher. Madness. Mad. Mad. Listen, people. One thing when you're working to a failure, failure is failure until your body can no longer perform that rep with quality. Sometimes quality doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that was me showing you my little bed set. I hope that this, hope you guys liked it. I hope you find it interesting. You know what I mean? Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe so I know that you want more shit like this. But yeah, man, we go again, huh? Luke, y'all should be fitness. I'm out. Boom.